Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the origin, insertion, and action of pectoralis minor. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we have pectoralis minor, and in order to see pectoralis minor, as I mentioned in a previous video, you have to remove pectoralis major, and you can see that's already done. Um, and then we can see pectoralis minor. So where does, or where does it originate? Well, you can clearly see it here. Here we have ribs one, three, four, and five. And you can see that it's in orig originating on the anterior surface of the ribs three, four, and five. The third, the fourth, and the fifth rib. You can see that it's relatively near the costal cartilage, as you can see here. These are the costal cartilages of that rib, and that is where it's originating. So the anterior surface of ribs three, four, and five. And then it comes up here, it extends, and it inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula, but not the entire coracoid process, but the medial surface, the medial aspect of that coracoid process. So originate anterior surface of the ribs three, four, and five, inserts on the medial portion, the medial aspect of the coracoid process of the scapula. So what's that going to do? Well, it's smaller than pectoralis major, so it's not going to have as great of an effect, but it still serve a, serves a very important role. Number one, it's stabilizing the scapula. Okay, so just that muscle being there, once the muscle is toned and it, it's doing what it's supposed to do, it's going to help in stabilizing that scapula because it's attached there and it's attached um, on this end and when that muscle contracts, when it's contracting, what that's going to do is it's pulling against the coracoid process, but it's pulling down just based on how the structure of that muscle is. So it's pulling inferiorly and anteriorly. So it's bringing it down and forward. All right, so that's the origin, the insertion, and the action of pectoralis major. So let's do a quick review. We're dealing with pectoralis minor. I think I said major just now, but I meant to say minor. Uh, the origin would be the anterior surface surfaces of ribs three, four, and five. The insertion would be the medial aspect or the medial surface of the coracoid process of the scapula. And what it does, the action, it helps to stabilize the scapula and it pulls inferiorly and anteriorly against the thoracic wall. And you can see that based on the structure of that muscle. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like more videos like this, you know what to do. Head on over to the website, interactive-biology.com. And this is Leslie Samuel, and I'll see you in the next one.